Alright. Hey everybody. Um, we're gonna give everybody a couple seconds to get on here. We're gonna keep it short. I've got a headache tonight for some reason and I just read some stuff that didn't make me Hey, I'm gonna be positive as much as I can. Uh, today is November twelfth, two thousand and sixteen. This is Daddy Daughter Reflection Time. And I just read something once again. Um that is a, a, it actually upsets me a little bit. Uh, a friend of mine, an, a, an old friend of mine, I went to school in um, kindergarten, and I'm going to say uh, a couple things on here tonight. Um, I, I just found out that this morning, Saturday morning, uh, one of my friends was hit by a drunk driver, and she's in uh, critical condition in the hospital. And um, it just goes to show that we don't know every day what's going to happen in life and uh, I haven't talked to this person in years but it, it's still somebody that I know and it still drives me crazy that people still think it's okay to drive intoxicated and uh, drive you know that's somebody's daughter that's laying in the hospital right now that's somebody's um, child that's somebody's friend that's somebody's mother that's that's right now laying due to um, people thinking that oh I had just a beer or two so you know I'm buzz drunk or I can drive because it's not that big of a deal and you guys have all heard me for months if not for longer um, stressing out how bad drunk driving is I know that in my life I lost a cousin to a drunk driver I've lost friends I've lost family. Uh, my sister, my own sister, has been hit by drunk drivers before. And um, it's very, very scary. And now I have another friend that is in the hospital I haven't talked to in years. It goes, you know, when I always go back and tell everybody, make sure you talk to your friends and loved ones because you don't know what can happen. And we don't, I don't know nothing other than that. I'm not going to probably know anything except through what I hear on Facebook and everything else. But it bothers me. It bothers me because, you know, so many great people, you know, we, they don't deserve that. So, anyway, it was a beautiful day today on a fall day, and it's where it's finally starting to get to the weather. Uh, Gracie was outside today and having fun in the leaves and everything while I did I the was, cutters. I was raking them up, and then me and my friends, Daddy got a video of it. Um, we were building by a tree. We were building this house, and then we took the other leaves. We made this little path. We made a path where it goes where we can have a picnic, and then we need, made another path where we can like have like um, a tent, and then an, this other path that leads to a tree, and the other path that leads to. Um, like, uh, the, the deck. It's great to have an imagination like a kid. I wish I could still have those imaginations and making a fort of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what it's going to stop, but a fort of leaves. It was great, it was great. And, uh, that's what they did today, isn't it? Mm -hmm. As we're out there playing and everything else, having a good time, and enjoying this weather we're having, getting out and about, and uh, you know, just spending time with family and neighbors and friends and everything. And the neighborhood kids, they're awesome. So we had a good time, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We did some shopping. There. We didn't get the pies made yet. We are going to be making the pies and everything. We do make pies and everything. So once we get the pies and everything made. Um, like our regular daily reflections. Ah, <laughs> uh, sweatshirt, not coat. <laughs> Sweatshirts. Especially when you're running around playing kids, like, they build up a lot of heat. I don't think cold affects kids. Even when there's snow on the ground and ice, it's like they're just sweating because they got so much energy. Um, let's not forget about, okay, Thursday was the Marine Corps birthday. And Friday was Veterans Day. So any veteran out there that I missed or didn't get a chance to say thank you for your service, um, a belated... Happy Veterans Day to you. Um, however, I like to shake hands of vets every day of the week whenever I see anybody and I like to offer a hand. Let's not forget about the 22 men and women in uniform 
every day that commit suicide because they don't feel like they're important enough. We have to let them know they matter. It doesn't cost money to go out and shake somebody's hand, tell them they matter, and let them know that they're important. Um, what I've said a couple of times, I'm really doing my best to stay out of politics. Um, but what I've made very clear is Americans have rights. That is, we have God-given rights. However, it is the men and women in uniform that have earned those rights. They have earned them for you and I and everybody else. So those that sit there and have rights, there's also a group that sat there and earned those rights. Now every single day what I tell people to be, to earn those rights as an American, you can fight on the front lines, volunteer in the military, or you can live a good example every day of what real freedom and what real rights are. In other words, if you're going to a business, go in there and work hard every day. Live the American dream. Go out there. Go to the national parks with your family and friends. You know, Go out there and live every day. Do the things that other countries you're not allowed to do in. Enjoy your rights and your freedoms and earn your freedom every day. Because one thing that we do know, that freedom has never been free. And if you go out there and you're one of these millennials or one of these people that are protesting an honest election, something that got pushed back, you know, guess what? We didn't complain when all the other presidents were elected. Let's not complain now because guess what? Our system is the best thing out there. If we change anything at all, it could go downhill fast. So guess what? Go out there and have a good time. Respect the decisions of those around you. So whether or not it's good or bad, remember everything we do in life, we don't know what somebody's going through. But if you go in and interfere with somebody else's rights or somebody else's freedoms, then remember when your freedoms and rights get infringed upon, who's going to protect you? So, okay, that being said and over with, Hope everybody had a great day today. Did you read with your kids the night before you put them in bed? Are you praying with your kids the night before you put them to bed? What are you doing with your kids the night before you put them to bed? My daughter, I will tickle her till she pees her pants before she goes to bed tonight. She knows that. This is her just warning. Would I ever do something like that to you? No, I would not. No, I would not. No, no, it's starting. No, live video, tickle torture, putting put to death, being put to death with tickling. Anyway. So, guys, get out there, enjoy your lives, enjoy yourselves, enjoy every day, have fun with your kids, let them know every single day you're proud of them. Call those friends and family members that you haven't talked to in years. You know, remember, you don't have, if you don't have enough time to make a phone call or say something, then you need to start finding time. That means you're not having enough time to live your life. Look, I know a lot of you guys are blue collar, you're factory workers, you're truck drivers, you're working hard every single day for your family, but you've got to take time out for those family members. You have to find somewhere down the road, because if you work every day and do nothing, then what's the point in working? And I know it's hard, and I know we need to pay our bills, and we need to put food on the table, but don't forget to, first off, take time for yourself, take time for your loved ones, let them know you love them, let them know you care about them. You know, don't just disregard something like a piece of trash. You know, so many times in life today we throw things away because, oh, it's easy. Oh, okay, let's just go get a new one. It's cheap. There's no such thing as cheap when it comes to human lives. There's no such thing as cheap when it comes to our friends and our family, okay? Our friends or family are not something that one minute you can just toss in the trash and throw away and then maybe later on. No. We're human beings. We need to enjoy each other's company because each one of you guys matter. Each one of you are important. And tonight I have a friend of mine that's in the hospital because she got hit by a drunk driver. And that upsets me because there's so many times we go through life, we, we forget more people than we meet. Not because we want to, but because we're so busy with our own lives and our own families that sometimes we forget about others that we don't know what they're going through or what they have. And sometimes we just need to reach out and tell them thanks. Hey, how's it going? How are you? And with Facebook and social media today, if we keep putting positive stuff up, then at least our friends know that we're making an attempt to stay positive. If you're seeing nothing but negative stuff on your Facebook feed, it's time to basically start trying to get people that are going to put positive stuff up. So let's be positive to each other. Let's be great to each other. Let's teach our kids who real heroes are. The real heroes are the moms and dads in America, the single moms, the single dads that are putting food on the table. You know, the people that make this country go, those are the real heroes. Our firefighters, our police officers, our school teachers, our nurses, those are all heroes. 
because every single day they get out of bed, they go do their job whether they like it or not, and they make a difference. And each one of you guys makes a difference also. So tonight we're going to say a quick prayer. Uh, I'll make it short because everybody's tired tonight. And we're going to say a quick prayer, and especially for my friend that's in the hospital and for anybody else. And then we're going to follow it up with an Our Father, Hail Mary, and then we will close it out for tonight, okay? So if everybody had joined me, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Alright, dear God in heaven, please watch out for all of our men and women in military. Please watch out for all the men and women that wear a uniform, police officers and firefighters. Please watch out for all of our school teachers. Please watch out for our country. Please be with those tonight that are suffering terminal illnesses or that are suffering in the hospital. Please be with those people that have lost people today that they can celebrate the person's life that is gone. Please be with our, all of our leaders and all of our loved ones. God, tonight, please be with those that are in the hospital because they got hit by a drunk driver and now they're holding on and clinging on to life. God, please be with all of our children that they know we love them and they, that we are very, very proud of them. God, please be with those single parents out there that are struggling just to make ends meet, to make sure that their kids have a good life, better than theirs. Please be with those families out there that are together but are contemplating divorce, not because anybody's abusive, just because they see it as an easy way out. That we know that nothing is easy, but if we work hard for it and we what we earn it, then we know it means that much more. God, tonight please answer and be with anybody's prayers that send to you. And God, thank you for the food on our plate, the clothes on our back, the roof over our heads, our family and our friends, that we are grateful that you have given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I did it wrong. It's in the name of the Father, mm -hmm. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I do. Yep. Left arm, then right. Right. Left shoulder, then right shoulder. Okay? Okay. Now, we believe in God, and we believe in Jesus, but I have a lot of friends out there that have different religions. They're Christians. They're Catholics. Uh, we're Catholic. However, I have friends of every faith. And so this is never to insult you. This is, if you wish to pray with us, then pray with us. If you just wish to pray your prayers, then go ahead. I'm just proud and honored to be affiliated and to know each one of you guys. Each one of you guys I am grateful for. Each one of you made a difference. Each one of you is beautiful inside and out. Every day remember that. Know that you matter, you're important, and that you have made a difference in somebody's life. So, on behalf of myself and Gracie, okay, we want to say thank you all. And leaves. The leaves on a tree? <laughs> you want to say anything before we get going? Um, it was a great experience to build my leave house, leave house with a tree. But there's a lot of bugs in that. Yeah, I didn't sit So, down. we're going to close on this one. If you want your kids to laugh and you don't, not good at jokes or anything else like that, just tickle them! Tickle, tickle, tickle! Tickle them! Tickle, tickle, tickle! Tickle them! Oopsie! That was Still your tickle them! <laughs> Alright, everybody. Fault. My whiteboards are falling down now. We will talk with you guys later. God bless you guys. Know that you matter. Know that you're important. And know that you've made a difference. God bless.